from incredible hand-to-hand -hand combat with knives and guns, to fighting with the horses and guns, John Wick Chapter 3 featured all sorts of creative and unbelievable places to have a bit of a scrap. Ow. Yes, modern day VFX allow storytelling and fight scenes to get crazier and crazier, while at the same time still looking somehow believable. One good example of those incredible VFX sequences is the infamous bike chase over the Verrazano Narrows Bridge. And in this video we're going to talk about just that in this VFX breakdown of John Wick Chapter 3 Parabellum. And for those of you who missed it while watching the movie, there's actually something in the bike chase that completely defies the laws of physics. But you'll have to watch through to the end of the video to find out what it is. No skipping, because that's cheating! Image Engine delivered only eight VFX shots for this scene, but that didn't mean that there wasn't much work involved. With shots as long as 1,000 frames full of extensive and complicated CG, plate stitching and comp integration, Image Engine certainly had their work cut out. Creating assets that had to be photo real while also matching practical ones, creating seamless camera transitions between the Verrazano bridge footage and green screen shots while at the same time matching the animation style to the live action stunt shot, as well as adding extra realistic looking VFX elements and executing perfect 2D integration. The sequence was made by combining on-location shots of professional stunt drivers riding at 100 km per hour, as well as some rigged crash stunts with dummies on the Verrazano Narrows Bridge, and some less impressive looking shots of Keanu and the guys sat on bikes in front of a green screen while being pushed around by some other guys in green Zentai suits for the close-up shots. In order to allow for seamless transitions between shots, they paid careful attention to both action and camera movement choreography. To get a seamless transition between the riders and bikes, they took cues from the shots of the Verrazano Bridge stuntmen. Of course, Keanu's face also needed to be added in some shots. But unfortunately, only one take of Keanu riding on the real Verrazano Bridge was filmed, so that take was inevitably the one that was used for the base of the 2.5D face replacements as it had the correct lighting on it. They also created a 3.5D face replacement for Keanu, using Cyberscan and some texture photography while creating his hair in Houdini. Stitching together the real shots with the green screen ones required a mix of cutting out bikes frame by frame and tracking CG objects and backgrounds all to the live action footage. Let's take a closer look at this footage to see how the transitions come together. So starting with the shot of Keanu fighting in the green room, they add in a motion track CG background. Then these two bikers ride off and the camera pans back following this empty bike that's CG. This is a smart place to transition back to the real footage following the CG bike that crashes into another CG one. Then Keanu sweeps across the screen. This is another clever place to make a transition back to the green room. However, getting the animated CG background to perfectly match the real moving one is really where the magic of this shot lies, and Image Engine have absolutely nailed this. Although something that wasn't quite nailed was some of the physics in one of the stunts, and it's probably down to the writers or directors wanting it to look this way, but it just doesn't work. Before the front wheel of this bike seems to disappear for a frame, when one of the bikers gets his freshly locked off arms stuck in the back wheel, the bike does something magical. Did you spot it? It goes the wrong way! Yeah. Normally, when you stop the back wheel of a bike travelling forwards, the bike just carries on skidding forwards. It doesn't jump back in the air. But if anyone can give a realistic explanation as to how this could actually happen, please leave it in the comments section, because we'd love to know. Please give us a like if you enjoyed this video, don't forget the links to the music are in the video description, and be sure to check out our community tab where you can vote on the next VFX video. Until then, you can catch us in the next one.